All right, welcome back to the Flutterflow tip series. Um, in this series, in this video, I want to actually go over how to create a dynamic grid view uh, that is like a background, something that you could utilize as a background. But you know, this is something that uh, you can actually do with an SVG, but maybe you want something that's interactable, right? That would be uh, the one scenario where I think like, oh yeah, something dynamic would make sense. So it, this question originates from Carol on Twitter, just so I was like, hey, how do you how do you do this sort of custom grid like uh, background? And I want to show you what I've accomplished here. So this is a grid view, right? This is a dynamic grid view, we are utilizing a and this would be super fun for games. But how do you actually get this right? How do you how do you get this thing to actually work? So I will show you what I mean, uh, by creating something with dynamic children. So we are going to repeat something, all right? We are essentially just taking a grid view on this homepage. This homepage, we're going to return a thousand, two thousand items of something. Doesn't matter what, right? Strings, integers, doesn't matter because all we need to do is generate dynamic children here, okay? So this is our grid view um, here. So if we come in here, right, we have a grid view. 50 cross axis alignment and uh, zero spacing within this. Um, we don't have the, I don't know why this scroll is happening. I don't want scroll to happen. Uh, maybe I'll just like do this. Okay. All right, so we have this grid view. I have utilized a uh, component, right? Great components are great. You, you, you wanna use them uh, for almost anything that's repeating. So you don't code. It's going to be the best and scalable way to do it. Okay. Grid item right here. In this grid item, I'm passing one parameter, which is just an integer. Again, don't have to do this. This is just going to show the, the number of integer that it is, right? We're generating dynamic children. So 2,400 uh, dynamic children. When I hover over it, I want to see the index in the list. So it's going to be like, you know, zero. The first one's gonna be zero, and then up from there. Um, we have a mouse region widget here. This just allows me to change the background color on hover, okay? Mix in a number of items, okay? Any number. And then I just utilized Copilot. I said, hey, take in the number of items and return that amount of items in list, in a list. And we're returning an integer, is a list of integers. On this grid view, you have dynamic children right here. Return items, remove. All right, we're going to generate dynamic children. I'm gonna say return items here. And I'm gonna say custom function, uh, return dynamic items. Number of items I wanna return is 2000. And I'll just say save, boom, all right. All right, this is it. And then we're going to take this Okay, so let's jump back in and see what we did. We're gonna just update that here to just change the like light dark, right? So this is how you create a dynamic grid. And again, you would probably put this in a stack or something so you can actually lay stuff over this. Um, this is just meant to be used as a background, uh, but if you wanted to create stuff in it, like, like I said, a game, um, you could do that. This is one easy way of doing that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you join on more uh, little tip videos in the future.